swimming, and in brief, come to end swimming here, swimming, the fourth of them swimming on the authority of Abdullah ibn Umar, who said, the messenger of God, sallallahu alayhi wa said, teach your children swimming and archery and the woman sewing. He said in this riwayah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Other riwayahs, you know, although there's da'af in that tradition, عَلِمُوا أَوْلَادُكُمْ الرِّمَايَ وَالسِبَاحَ وَالْرَكُوبُ الْخَيْرِ Teach your children shooting, yani archery, swimming, and the riding of horses. This tradition of Bayhaqi, as well, and the woman sewing. And the Prophet وسلم, would swim. And he would swim. The Prophet never saw the Bahar, he never saw the ocean. So he never swam in the ocean. But he swam in, in the big wells they would have inside of Medina to Manawara, in particular. Sometimes the swimming, as we said, is why it's horizontal swimming, but we more so know swimming. Others, it's diving. He'd go into shorter wells, smaller wells. And he would just dive, swim down, 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 sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. فَأَتْقَنَهُ And he perfected that art of swimming, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Of the great arts, is the art of swimming. Huh? Teach your children swimming and archery and the woman sewing. On the authority of Umama ibn Sahal ibn Hunayf, who said, Umar ibn Khattab wrote to Abu Ubaid ibn Jarrah, teach your young men diving and your warriors archery. Diving is aum, as we said, swimming what? Down, vertically into the water. Teach your young men aum, diving or swimming down, and your warriors archery, say no Umar ibn Khattab, radiallahu anhu wa rdaam, sunnah of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We're going to see on the authority of Mujahid, there was not a single gateway to worship that people fell short of, say that Abdullah ibn Zubair was proverbial therein. Once the circuit of the house was flooded, thereby preventing people from circumambulating, however, Ibn Zubair began to circumambulate swimming. <laughs> Look at the Sahaba, Sayyidina Abdullah bin Zubayr al-Anhu Arda. There's not a single gateway of worship save that he's proverbial therein, Abdullah bin Zubayr. Remember, this is the Imam of the Kaaba. He's the one who brings the Kaaba, radiallahu anhu Arda, to the height that we see it now, Sayyidina Abdullah bin Zubayr. Remember, he dies right there at the Kaaba, Sayyidina Abdullah bin Zubayr, radiallahu ta'ala anhu Arda, in the midst of salah, in the midst of prayer, radiallahu ta'ala anhu Arda. And there he is in Abdullah ibn Zubair. Once the Kaaba, which is prone to flood, and even of recent times, the way the Kaaba is situated inside the of Mecca, inside the valley of Mecca, floods often. The end of the Kaaba. To the point you can still see pictures and photographs of the Kaaba just surrounded by water, a river, yeah, a river just surrounding the Kaaba. You can still see, see photos of that. In the time of Abdullah ibn Zubair, the same happened. And people couldn't make tawaf except Abdullah ibn Zubair. Allahu Akbar, Sayyidina Abdullah, radiallahu ta'ala, and who are of the greatest companions, uh, beloved to the Rasul, the greatest warriors of the companions, just like his father, radiallahu ta'ala, and who were the.